So as you can see, the lace is balding. Look at this. This is the front of the lace, guys. And it's balding. And I've had this lace wig from May to July it being balding. And then August it was just bald. Like these are the areas. This is the front of my lace. So I would have to flip all of my hair over to this side or flip it to this side in order to block the um the ball spot but I really was over it so I wasn't wearing this wig for about I haven't worn this wig since September so I'm about to reconstruct the wig and bring it back to life okay guys so do you see how badly this lace is balding I'm sorry but look at this so look at all of, look at this so this is the front of the lace and it's completely balded. So I'm just going to cut all of that, the whole front area, and reconstruct me a new lace wick. So your first step is to go through the west or well, go through the wick and find out where the lace starts because this is a lace front wig this is not a 360 i don't think let me see is it no this is a lace frontal wig so you have to go through so i actually can see where let me take let me show you this is where if you can see the tracks start right here the lace ends right here i don't know if you can see sorry if you can't so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this area. I'm just gonna cut straight across as though as it's the way it's sewn. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting from um, ear to ear, basically. So I'm just gonna cut. Just be careful not to cut like. Um, the part that you have to sew back on. So you have to sew the back of the lace back on. The back of the wig back on. So just try to cut the front of the wig. So you should be cutting only the lace. You see how I got only the lace? Cutting only the lace. So sorry about my last um, comment. This is a 360 lace frontal, 360 lace wig. I meant to say. So I said it wasn't, but it is. So yeah, sorry about that. So this is all coming off, as you can see right here. You can see the structure of where I'm cutting. I'm basically cutting all of this off because this is not going to work for me. All this balding got to go. So of course I might have cut some of the weave. It's okay because I'm going to actually sew some bundles on if it's not still full. So yeah, this is what it should look like afterwards. You just probably still have a little lace on here, it's cool. And then this is like, it's cut up baby. But I'm sewing some more tracks on, so it's cool. So this is, I'm guessing, the back. I don't know. i got to figure that out. It is the back. So this is the back. And you're, you've cut, like, your bald back here. So this is my lace front. So this is about just as much as I cut off. Um, before we get into that, you need a mesh dome cap so this is my mesh dome cap i actually made a wig one time i accidentally put um spandex dome cap and my wig was so tight so don't do that 
So this, it must be a mesh dome cap. And this is about how much I um, cut off. So this is about, this is good right here. So I'm going to definitely secure this with a T-pin and I'm going to start sewing it on. So yeah. So this is the um, rest of the lace wig that we have left. And as you can see, it's extra thick. So I don't know if you really can see. So this will fit back here. So I'm going to secure the both of them so that they'll fit together. And then like whatever room I have left, I'll just sew in some tracks. But this is actually extra full. Can you see that? This is like extra full back here with just this. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm going to secure my front two first with my T-pins and then I'm going to secure the remaining of the wig. So now we're in the back area and I'm just going to start right here and I'm going to sew all the way around. And then after I finish that, I'm going to add the bundles, but let me show you how it looks with the bundles in it. Just put together with T-pins. I want you to see how nice it looks. So let me show you. So this is how the wig looks with me T-pinning on the excess lace. Um, I'm shocked because it's actually full as I don't know what. I probably have to add like two or three patches of hair just to patch up like the little areas that's missing. But because the lace frontal is so full, I really don't have to. But I don't like for my wigs to look like like ball like you know not not full i like my wigs to look full and if i leave it like this to me i would not like it it would look full so i'll probably add like a couple of fillings i'll probably fill in a couple of areas of the wig but you can just wear the wig like this if you want to i'm personally not it's actually extremely full so i'm like shocked and this is just with the t-pins on um so yeah So all I'm doing right here basically is what I'm supposed to be doing, which is sewing on the lace. So I'm sewing the lace onto the wig. You just sew it, pull it. Sometimes I go underneath the wefts. I mean underneath the string. Other times I just sew regular. I'm sewing regular right now. Because with laces, so basically when you have like a lace front, lace wig, lace closure, anything, frontal, you're not supposed to comb the frontal part of the lace. So sometimes we forget and our lace begins to ball. Some of our lace ball faster than others, some ball slower. Um, I know that I'm going to end up taking off all of my lace off all of my wigs, even though only one of my lace only one of my lace wigs balled it. Um, as we bleach our knots and we, you know, go into customize, your wig is going to bald. Whether it takes forever, a little bit of time, it's going to bald. So I just always keep that in mind. I'm not about to kill myself trying to focus on, oh my God, is my lace going to rip today? So after you have secured your, um, wig with t-pins it should look like this um you should want to pull the lace just a little bit past the dome cap i don't know if that's just how i do it you could do it like that or you don't but i pull mine a little bit past of course we're cutting the dome cap um all with the, the area of the lace so the dome cap really does not matter we just needed to secure the rest of the wig so yeah I secured my wig with T-pins and now I'm getting ready to start sewing in the back. 